Today, pipe bombs were sent addressed to the homes of Michelle and Barack Obama, Bill and Hillary Clinton, as well as former CIA Director John Brennan at CNN, Congressional Representative Maxine Waters, her offices, and the offices of Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz here in Florida to her offices as well, and I know that Congresswoman Wasserman Schultz is here tonight. Mr. DeSantis, just yesterday, your campaign had issued that statement condemning another robocall, a racist robocall, targeting your opponent. Have we reached a point where divisive political rhetoric, where members of one political party even call the opposite party evil, have crossed the line to push some people over the edge? Well, it's great to be here. Uh, I am Ron DeSantis. I'm an Iraq veteran, former prosecutor, and I am on a mission uh, to protect Florida's future. Uh, I was at the congressional baseball practice when a, a gunman uh, tried to shoot. Uh, my teammates did shoot Steve Scalise because he didn't like Republicans. And so uh, I know firsthand that when we start going down that road, uh, that could be very, very deadly. So I condemn that. I condemn what happened today. Obviously, we need to get the facts uh, before we jump to conclusions. Um, but I think it is important that we try to unify. Uh, and so my agenda has been, I think, something that the vast majority of Floridians can get behind. Number one, I want to keep our economic momentum going. I don't want to raise taxes like Andrew wants to do. I want to keep it going and build off the success we've had. I also want to protect the environment that Floridians enjoy. We all want to have clean water. We all know that that is the lifeblood of our state. And if we don't get that right, then Florida's future is in jeopardy. I want to protect education opportunities, including more vocational and technical training in our classrooms, because those are the jobs of the 21st century. And I also want to protect our communities, because you can have a good economy, good environment. If you don't have safe communities, uh, then a lot of that doesn't matter. Mr. So I will DeSantis, stand with law enforcement now, and DeSantis, make sure that we you. protect I Florida's future. I want to direct the same question. Thank you, Mr. DeSantis. I want to direct the same question to you, Mr. Gilman. That is the divisive political rhetoric pushing some of us over the line and over the edge. Well, I, I think the answer is absolutely it is. Uh, we saw not only around the country, but right here in our own state, uh, Democratic elected officials who were targeted um, thankfully, nobody was hurt in today's uh, incidences, uh, but we've, we've really seen a collapsing of our political discourse. Uh, my opponent, as soon as he won the Republican nomination for governor, went on Fox News and said uh, to flo voters here in the state of Florida not to monkey this state up by electing me. Uh, it was followed up that same week by neo-Nazis making calls into the state of Florida to attack my character, jungle music in the background, and the uh, calls of monkeys uh, being heard. Uh, we've seen neo-Nazis empowered. We saw what happened in Charlottesville, the moral equivocation uh, that this president has demonstrated. My opponent, uh, endorsed by him, uh, has run this race very, very close to the Trump handbook where we call each other names, uh, where we run false advertisements, and in this case, every single one of his advertisements that mentions my name has been declared false by PolitiFact. 